you may hate me, but I love you, and I always will. How dare you all! Giving the lead role to my half of a sister who just came out of nowhere, and with daddy's money on top of it all. Uh, it's not actually funded by me, sweetheart, but by the city. Same thing. You. I told you that you'd be sent back to New York if you ever crossed my path, and now, not only are you on my path, but on TV, too! Don't let your sister walk all over you, Zoe. You were made for this part. You deserve it. It's true, and we're meeting with the producer tomorrow, so it's too late to change anything now. Might I remind you that you were offered the chance, like all the students in the school, to participate in the film. But you refused because, and I quote, Melen's sweater is too ugly, Nate draws like a two-year-old, Alia is useless, and Marinette is ridiculous. Utterly ridiculous. I said that? Less politely. Well, I still mean all of it. But if this stupid, childish film actually gets released in theaters and turns someone into a star, that someone should be me. So, you're gonna give me the part my half of a sister is playing because everything she owns is mine. Hmm. Banana Chloe? <laughs> Don't worry, kids. I'll go talk to her. Everything will be fine tomorrow. And here's the office of the producer, Bob Roth. Surprise! <laughs> huh? Chloe, what are you doing here? My old friend Andre told me you'd be okay making a few small changes in the scripts so that his daughter could be part of the film. But it's impossible. <laughs> We've prepped and gotten everything set. Movie making, kid, is the art of compromise. To protect your, I mean, the interest of the film, you gotta be flexible. Therefore, Andre's daughter will play the starring role. That's not in the best interest of the film. Zoe is perfect for the role of the superhero of creation. The next plane for New York leaves in 30 minutes. <sighs> Marinette, no big deal if I don't play the main role. There's lots of other positions open on the crew. Perfect. As long as she's not on screen, it's fine with me. Then it's a deal. See you all tomorrow morning on set. Bye-bye, losers. Now get out. <laughs> this is totally unfair. Believe it or not, I also shot a film in my youth. It was called Solitude. Daddy, I'm trying to concentrate here. Of course. Sorry, sweetheart. And you, Dupen Chang, cool it with the horrible costume. It's worse than lame. That's why it suits you so well, Chloe. <laughs> In this scene, the entire population has been put into an enchanted sleep, so we need tons of extras. You guys are gonna lay down here. Perfect! Hey! All of you! Someone just told me I'm supposed to play the role of the supervillain of destruction, and Milan is the superhero of creation. Are you kidding me? I get the lead role. I am the good guy, okay? Chloe, those two roles are equally as important. Blah, blah, blah. I don't care. I get to be the good guy. We don't have time for all of these changes, Chloe. Oh, yeah? Daddy! Uh, <laughs> you know, it's not uncommon to have to adapt a script on the set at the last minute for production reasons. It's called... That's baloney. A waste of time giving up on your dreams. A revision. If it's for the good of the film. C9, take one. Action! Chloe, you're supposed to be acting! Lame, boring, dull. What we need is a superhero film featuring a real superhero. Hey, what's black and yellow, has pretty blonde hair, gets everyone's attention, and is gonna break the box office. You're not talking about you as Queen Bee, because most of the time you are a super disaster more than a superhero. Uh, actually, I wasn't even thinking it's Queen Bee. I was thinking of a much more original character. Queen, uh... Queen Banana! 